hate that pillow. Hey guys, um, so I'm starting a brand new vlog and I am just getting ready. I'm just getting ready for um, my day. And I'm going to curl my hair. Like I've seen, um, she's called Molly May. I know my subscribers are predominantly American. But I'm going to do it like her. She kind of curls it with these this um, barrel, well, her barrel. And then she kind of pins it up. So I'm going to do that. See what it looks like. I hope you're all having a great day. And I hope you um, enjoyed my last video. Uh, I'm just really fucked off, to be honest with you guys. And when are I fucked off? Let me put you high up because it just doesn't look right again. So, <clears throat> can I need a drink? I need a coffee, but I just can't be bothered to get one. Um, put it down a bit. The weather is really nice today. Um, I'm really annoyed with um, some people. Particularly one person that commented on my video. I need a drink, guys. I'm literally sounding like a croaking fucking cunt. Okay, guys. So. Why is it so, like, dark? Fucking hell. Honestly. Am I ever going to be in a good mood? Ever? I don't think so. Every person annoys me. Right. I look grey, so welcome to my fucking hellhole of a life. So I'm going to do... Ugh! I'm going to do coffee. This is what I'm wearing. So I'm going to do a coffee guys and you know the deal by now. Um, coffee, coffee, coffee. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Drink, drink coffee. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Drink, drink coffee. I'm going to have my coffee. One of these glasses. Because I'm a bougie bitch. So, let's do the ice first. I haven't got much time really today, but... So anyway, I just wanted to talk, to talk about a certain asshole who commented on my video and really fucked me off yesterday. Um... Basically, I look like a fat cunt, so it's fine. So let me pull you over a bit. Can you see? I don't think I can. It's just the usual, isn't it, with me? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. You've seen this before. I'm going to fill this with um, milk. Why is this? I thought I'd already open one. So I drink soy milk, guys, because I just think it's the best. That does look a lot, but there's a lot of ice, so it's not. Um, then I'm going to do a Starbucks. Should I do? I'll do a creme brulee, vanilla creme brulee today. Vanilla creme brulee today. Now, I, you probably think, why have I got, sh like, my hair's not as long as the, um, as the last video. I did put the hair in, but it just wasn't right, the toning of the colours. You could probably tell it wasn't the right colour. So I've taken the hair out and I'm going to retone it and then put it back in. So this is just going to put this under there. Right. 
anything go right? How? I've only got one. Yeah, needs another. Let's do another one. Sorry, can these blinds actually fucking do one today, please? I've had enough. Wow, this is annoying me now. Right, so this is the drink. Oh, there's something in the fucking way. Yum, yum, yum. I look very boxy. Uh, let's go upstairs. Wow, I look like a fat cunt. It's fine. <laughs> fat cunt, here we come. Right, so. So, guys, I kind of wanted to talk about um, um, how disgusting people are on um, YouTube, basically. Um, my whole dream is a mess. Oh, I'm sick of this. Wow, this looks really, really good, guys. I literally want to just. Okay, I can't cope today. I've just found these stickers from Brandy Melville. I, I know this is really random, but I want to put one on my mirror. It's quite cool. Because, because do you know why, guys? Because my fucking hair straighteners have gone and burnt the side of this vintage tortoise shell mirror. So I am actually really fucked off. And it's not going to stick, is it? No, it just looks ridiculous. Oh, yeah. That's really, really helpful, isn't it? No. It is. She's not going to do it. I don't know what. Oh, do you know what? I'm ready to just today is just honest i can't have a good day if i fucking want to if i if i if i want to try to have a good day i can't do it i really cannot do it at the minute i do have an hrh sticker what about that it's not gonna stick on i'm fucked basically i don't know what to, what to do if anyone got any suggestions of what to put on a mirror that's the side has got burnt on it i need like a sticker to put on the side but so yeah, vintage mirror from the 1970s. I'm actually going to fuck this morning. That's how fucked up I am today. I just want fucking close. You fucking cunt. I just can't believe I've done that. You can't really tell, to be honest with you, can you? 
Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to reuse this one for this video. We've all seen this one before, guys, because this is the iconic one I started my channel on when everything was great. Now everything's a piece of shit. Mm. Right. So I just want to kind of I need to get ready now. It's just not funny anymore. Everything I have, I ruin. Honestly, I just... I don't even know why I even do this anymore, to be honest with you. Oh, and I, have I burnt this as well? Why is this burnt? Oh, my God! Since when has the side of this thing got burnt as well? Oh, wow! I'm really happy today. I can't, I can't deal with, I can't deal with this stuff. I do I the side of this. What sun do you think? Yeah, fuck off then, cunt. I'm just, I can't, I can't deal with it today. You fucking monkey cunt. What am I going to do, guys? Everything's ruined. Everything is fucking ruined. I don't even want to go. I just can't curve anymore. I have OCD, okay? So every time I ruin something, I have to rebuy it. It's like my stupid brain. I'm, just, I'm like swamped now with things I've got to buy and stuff, but I don't need to because it's fine. Oh my God, guys. I can't deal with this shit any longer. So anyway, one of my fake subscribers said something about my channel yesterday. He said um, that basically um, I'm an asshole, basically, uh, to put it lightly, and that I. Um, gotta hurry up now yeah and they basically said that um what i can't remember what they said it was that irrelevant saying that because i made a little jokey post saying come on guys i'm nearly at uh 19.3 you know what's it gotta take because it had been stuck on 19.2 for like 10 years um and they put really you have the whatever they don't quote me something like this to say that um you have the nerve to say that you want 19.3. You put no effort in your videos. You never post. Um, excuse me, prick, but I've been going through very severe mental health problems. My head is fucked. I have a very bad eating disorder, which is crippling my fucking existence. I've had a very bad experience happen that I can't speak about. I'm going in the stages of trying to sort out with my life. So excuse me if I haven't uploaded to your standard. But I've been making, in case you haven't noticed, what the YouTuber makes one hour long videos and puts them up all in one. YouTubers take an hour video and split it into three and then make three or four videos or whatever. I give you a full, like, fucking movie. And that's not good enough, is it? No, it's not good enough for you. Then you went on about uh, deleting comments from my Q&A. No, unhearting comments. Uh, what I actually did was I did heart the comments first of all. And I thought, wow, these um, questions are coming through so fast. I can't quite keep up. 
So I thought I'll unheart them because I don't want my subscribers to feel like I'm not hearting all of their comments and some of them will keep, be left out. So I made the consecutive decision in a nice way to unheart, I think I hearted about three in about a second. And I did it and I unharted, unharted them in about a second. So you must have been watching from the sidelines how dare you say that I'm not this, I'm not that. Why are you watching me if you don't like me? Don't watch my channel. That is it. What else did I say? Some other shit. Like, um, everyone, all, lots of my subscribers feel the same way as I do, but uh, they're just not telling you. Right, so come forth then. Whoever feels the, the need to bring me down when I'm going through a very difficult time of mine and i still want to upload for you guys i could just have taken a hiatus for about six months the way my life is at the minute but i actually make an effort to give you guys what you want and you still shut me down i have no time for you how dare you you've no idea what my life is, is like you've no idea oh, i thought i had the wrong way around then you have no idea, guys. Not not guys. You have no idea. So how dare you sit there on your pedestal telling me what's what? Don't you fucking dare. I really affected me that comment yesterday. Really made me feel really, really horrible about myself when I already feel so bad about myself. You've no right to do that to me. No right. I just don't look great today at all, to be honest with you. I don't care. I'm really annoyed about that mirror, guys. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. It's vintage, so it's still vintage. It's just got a bit of character to it now, hasn't it? Yay, it does. Right, guys, I'm going to be coming back with my hair because I bet you're sick of just seeing me put makeup on and fucking around. So see you in a minute. Even on. It's not even fucking on. Right, today I'm actually going to have a full on breakdown. How much more have I got? Two bits left. That's not even going to curl because it's not even on. What is today about? Honestly, I can't even breathe. I just... Guys, I just don't even know anymore with this. You know, I just worry so much about what people think of me. So, oh, see, it's come out now. I'm going to have to redo that. Because it wasn't hot enough. And this one as well. Okay. It's gonna come out again. Just do it at the top. That one's oh, I thought that that has just come out as well. They're all just coming out now. <laughs> Great. How do people do this? I just don't get it. Supposed to have this 
put this in for 10 minutes. Okay, this one's like just about come out, but um, they've been on for 10 minutes anyway. So let me do the last one. And she said, curl away from your face. So that way. I'm going to see what I'm doing. This one's fucked. Should I try redo this one? Let's back in. And then I'm going to do my mascara. This one's just about come out as well. For Christ's sake, what is going on? is with me like my head is just so wrecked if i ruin something i have to instantly replace it i just can't live with this is because of my ocd now i don't really i haven't told anyone well i, I think you might know but i have severe ocd basically that stops me so basically it's like anxiety and if i if something is like i break something or something like that my control is over like i have to have things perfect so i have like an impulsive kind of feeling where I need to replace it and then everything will be okay. I don't know where it stems from. Nice. And it's like, it's just this awful feeling like I have to replace it. And I do suffer from some sort of like, I won't say it's an addiction, but it's a spending, like I feel like things make me, um, happier like i feel they bring me joy because i have have some sort of void in my life i think that i haven't quite fulfilled yet um it's, i can't really do this with my hair like that so i always think i actually can't I'll do it like this So it's like, I don't know, it's horrible. It's like, I could just sit down and just tell you all about my life, guys, and like all the struggles, but we've, we all go through struggles and it's like, it's a, it's like an impulsion. That's what I have. It's an impulsion. And I don't know where, we, it comes from not having control. Let me know if you guys are like this as well in the comments and you just need to like, it's the control of having it back in your life or replacing it perfect. It's just it makes you feel like you don't own trash. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, things to me really matter, like material things. I know it sounds really um, stuck up, but it gives me a false sense of security because I haven't, I probably haven't had much comfort in my life. By the way, guys, I've just used the Steeler the new Steeler, and it's not new, the Intense Black by Steeler, and it is fucking amazing, this eyeliner. Look at the sleepy droop, guys. It's probably higher than I wanted it, but this is really good. You need to get your hands on this. Right, I'm just about done. Like, let's take the hair out now. Okay, so it's been in 10 minutes. Oh. <gasps> Okay, shit, this actually does work. <gasps> what? This side, not as well. Why is that? This side never goes well. 
this is amazing this isn't i'm gonna have to redo this I'm gonna have to i think it's because i did bigger bigger chunks of hair that is amazing though let's do this oh, i can't believe i fucked this side up just do these two bits It's always the right side that you do better because you are more like fucking workers outside. Shut the fuck up. You're more prone to it. You're more um, experienced to it. And this one here. Oh my god, this is so cool. And this looks awful as well. Oh no, this is not worth it either. Fucking construction, great. Okay. This isn't gonna work. It's too big. Oh God. Again. Oh my God, I love this. Right, let's take this out. Yes! Fucking love this, guys. Okay, so let's brush it out. Oh my God. This is, oh, this is beautiful. Some oil in it and hairspray I think I'm gonna need. This is fucking gorgeous, isn't it? I need to redo some bits though. That bit is that side is so much better. Let's just do this small bit here and leave it for a, for a while. It won't keep. I know it won't. To say that I've done this in a rush because I need to go, it's I've done it quite well to be fair. Oh my god, I love this. And I could always just do these little bits, couldn't I myself? Oh my god. I just need to do the root, my um, straight ends, but I love it. It does need washing, so it's not the best. It's not like ideal. Let's do, let's straighten the top bits. It's gone odd. I might just do these bits myself. Straighten it out, I'll just do it outwards. I don't like this side. It does need washing, so it's kind of, it's not, 
it's not easy to do, but it's just, I don't think it's as bouncy as if it was, if I was to wash it. You know what I mean? It's more stiff. Do these bits. Straighten these bits a bit. love it right there we go guys i'm just gonna give it another zhuzh see this has dropped now i love it <laughs> very bouncy isn't it Right, I'm going to go, guys. I just need to do some lips. There we go. Oh. What do we think? I this isn't as bouncy. I'm not as keen as this one as the other one. Cute, eh? This side is just not staying, is it? Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Might have to just mess around with this side a bit, guys, because this isn't staying as much. Right, guys, I am going. And my... Cool, eh? Could just button this up a bit. Before I go for my shower, I, look like, I feel like I'm choking. Um, I want to show you my sleepy Drew. I have bought the new Stila uh, mascara, not mascara, um, eyeliner, and it's absolutely, I mean, look at the detail in the eye. Yeah. What's this stain on my top? I just, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of put the cam uh, turn the camera on and just say, you know, I really appreciate everyone's support and everyone's love and I've, the comments have been so outstanding like thank you so much like for sorry i feel like i'm choking thank you for the for the love um regarding the video like you were just you've been so sweet and so lovely and like the support i really don't want, like hoover in the way it's making me feel ill um so now maybe you might understand why if I'm in a mood, you know, what's going on, you know, it's because, you know, I've got stuff going on in my life and, you know, and I don't mean to not tell you guys, you know, some things I can't say or I'll say in time, you know, just know that there's a lot going on. So my, you know, the way I am in my vlogs is a representation of that. And like I said in the video before, you know, I'm not just going to be fake and just be pretending to, um, 
I'm not going to pretend to uh, be happy just for a vlog. You know, I'm real. I'm a real YouTuber. I document what goes on in my life in real time. And I'm not going to do that fakely. I'm not just going to be like, you know, like a puppet. Like, I'm me, so... Uh, and the majority of you will actually have not had one bad comment. You've all said that you accept me for me. You love the vlogs. You love... You prefer the vlogs. A lot of you have said that. So I really appreciate that. Um, and you've all just had my back. So I really want to say thank you for that. Like... Sorry, you, the shower's running. It's not, it's not like, um, do you always like sh turn the shower on so you like warm up the bathroom before you, uh, go in the showers? It's, is that just me? I like it really steamy, like a sauna. Um, yeah, and also my makeup looks quite good today. So I kind of wanted, wanted to make the most of it and like film. <laughs> Mike's stuttering. Uh, yeah, so, um, just thank you guys really for, for being there and understanding my behaviour, you know, like I said before, I'm going to be highly strong if a lot is going on in my life. And, you know, I'm not kind of, I don't mean to put you on a cliffhanger by not telling you about, you know, when I say um, things, are, things are happening, I can't say anything, like, I can't say anything for a reason or because I don't feel comfortable yet. But in all, in due course, everything will be told. So just, you know, if you really love me and understood me, you'd appreciate that and respect that and understand that and all of you do uh, the majority don't the haters but we don't care about those people do we so again thank you for the support i hope this angle i hope this angle isn't too disgusting and yeah when i say i look horrible and i look fat and stuff like i don't know why i'm even having to explain myself like you guys know that I'm not trying to get attention by saying I look horrible. It's genuinely how I feel in my head because of my eating disorder. And I just verbalise it to you guys because I trust you, you know. Um, and I'm not going to filter anything I say. I'm not going to think... Because if, if I start thinking before I say things, like what if people think I'm attention seeking if I say I look fat or horrible, then I'm not going to be organic and me. And the whole point of these vlogs is to be myself. Sorry, I'm going to go now because I'm talking um, a million miles an hour. I hope you understand. And um, guys, go get this Steeler eyeliner. It is sick. Mwah. Love you guys.
I thought to myself, I don't think I want to put um my hair in because I much prefer this like just got out of bed kind of look, you know, like model off off duty kind of vibe. Like I just feel so much better with it. So I don't think I'm gonna put um those extensions back in because it's they're too fake looking. Like I just feel like I look like it's just not the look anymore, is it, guys? Like, let's be honest. So, I'm, you know, and also with the beach waves, I know this sounds a lot like Alex, but she's kind of made me realise that, you know, it's kind of dated. So, and this kind of, I'm just loving this look, like, with these sunglasses, like, oh, my God. I'm just really, really feeling it. I just think it looks sick, like with these like messed up this I haven't even straightened my hair really. This is just um got out of bed hair and I just love the kinks in it. It just looks really model off duty. I just fucking love it. Such a fucking vibe. really feeling it guys what do we think do you love it Oh my god. And this is the vibe. I just i've come back from um town to get um my prescriptions my prescription my sunglasses that my sister kindly bought for me for my birthday my birthday is coming up in about three weeks 24th of march i'm going to show you them i also got my nails done guys they're like a 1970s kind of sheer irid sheer iridescent kind of pink I really love these. Look cute, don't they? And I'm just like, I just want to vent with you guys a bit because I have just had such 
a weird day. Like, sorry, it's really, really messy in the background. I want to open up a bit more today. I just... I went into town and I just felt like such a freak. I can't explain the feeling that I got. I just felt like a freak. Anybody clicked on a bit? This is a vibe, this look. The bed's a hor horrific mess, but... I felt like a freak. Sorry, I really... The, it's, I'm struggling with this aesthetic of the bed. Like a freak. I felt so disgusting today. I don't know what it is. I know it keeps, that word's very hard to say, but I just, what, I just, I don't, part of what it is, where I live, people are very judgmental and this blaze is quite, you know, it's epic. It's a vibe. It's cool. I just felt in it when I was out in town. I just didn't feel like I blended in. And I know it's about not blending in, but I just felt so conscious about me and how it came across to people it was horrible today it was just one of those days where it wasn't it, it wasn't the blaze it was just you know i just felt frumpy you know i love the vibe it's a vibe but like putting it out there in front of everyone else it's probably nothing to me but it is a look and people where i live are just so judgmental like if i lived in london or leeds or somewhere this look would be like so on point and they'd love it like i absolutely love this look it's like sick like this is model off duty like fucking hrh collection but it's worrying about how it interprets in their eyes that i worry about and i shouldn't care what people think but today was the day that i did care and i've really struggled today and i feel like shit like my hair's i love the hair it's like biker sh chic isn't it you know like i love the kinks in it and stuff but i just no one gets this vibe here and I just, I'm struggling with my mental health. I'm struggling with um, being me, you know, being a different person, being, I'm having one of those days today where I just feel completely isolated. I feel judged. I feel just a horror. I feel a freak. I feel fat. I know I keep saying I look fat, but I feel it. Who the fuck is that? Amazon, I think. Today's the day that I just feel huge. And I know people always say, oh, you're saying that you look huge for attention. Like, I really don't. Like, I literally have body dysmorphia. Like, I looked at myself this morning and I, I literally could have seen, like, my arms were, like, this big. But I know they're not because everyone says they're not. I need to get some more. I need to get some help with this like more extensive help because i feel like i'm getting i was like one step away from having a panic attack this morning i can't behave like this i can't live my life like this i'm like i'm like 31 in three weeks and i'm living this life like where everything's just so everything is such a big deal like I, everything and i shouldn't have gone on tiktok because tiktok literally makes you feel 50 times worse I'm just so sick and tired, guys. And this is me opening up now. You know, I'm telling you what's wrong with me. People say, you don't tell us what's wrong. You just say something's wrong. I'm telling you the reason. I feel today's one of the days where I just, I'm not feeling myself. You know, I just feel, I just want to go out and just not worry about every little thing that in my life. I'm worried now. I'm fretting now that my face looks fat because I can see it. It looks big to me. Probably doesn't to you, but it's to me it does. So I'm freaking out in my head now. So I'm touching my hair. I'm like looking the way I look. Like this is not because I'm trying to be attention seeking. This is because I'm reassuring myself. It's like you know when when dogs and stuff are like anxious and they I'm I'm petting myself almost because I feel it gives me comfort. I'm like trying to reassure myself that I'm doing this, doing that because that is a thinner angle. Like it's not because I want to come across as you know. Not, I, I do come across as materialistic and like, what's the word? Not pessimistic, like 
vain because I don't know I've, I've told, I know I know I'm vain but I come across as really pretentious and stuff but I don't mean to be it's just literally I have to look a certain way and it, my head has to pass the check of like being accepted as looking thin and that is horrible so I've said this to you before in my channel it's a horrible thing to say and think about but that's how I feel like if I pass the check that I look thin then I can actually relax in this video like now I put my ears my, my hair back I feel thin as so I'm relaxing and what and it's not because I'm trying to be triggering to anyone this is how my head sees things and this is my vlog and this is how I'm thinking and I'm going to be honest I'm not bullshitting you this is how my brain thinks I'm so tired of it though guys I'm so tired of feeling this way and thinking this way and behaving this way and sick of it how's it ever gonna end I don't even know the help that I need. I just don't even know. On the, oh, oh my God, on the, this is completely 360, but something different. Mark Ferris, he's a YouTuber. He's nearly got a million on YouTube. He actually, I was on TikTok yesterday, or the, the day before, and I was talking to, you know, the trolls. And he popped up and said, uh, what did he say? I'll stop. I don't know if I should flash it up because I don't want to think I'm like this, like, teeny bopper. He sent me a message. He sent me a message, and it said on the live, it said, um, "You're my fave, lovely." No, you're my fave. Chin up, lovely, and sent me a huge gift on TikTok. You know, like those coins. And I was like, "What?" I, like he knows who I am. Like, and it's not because he's got a big sub count. What it is, the fact that a huge YouTuber who's made his mark on YouTube, which is what I want to do, has taken time out of his day to watch me, someone who's quite... Sorry, this is my um, spray for my face. Not face. I'm like, I'm cleaning up because I always have to clean when I'm stressed. Basically, he is just like... He actually found out who I was and watches me. And the reason... And then I went on his stories and he had posted like... A, you know, someone can like send you questions and I was in the background on a screen he was watching me in the background I was like doing my uh, mascara <laughs> it was like on a loop you know like when you do those boomerangs and I was on his screen and he was like hey what's what's everyone up to and I was he was watching me while he was he like did a story on net uh, um on Instagram <laughs> so that to me means the world because like he doesn't I didn't even knew, knew that I existed and if he supports me you know, he's a decent person, you know, he's very well loved and he thinks a lot of me, then I feel inspired to just not let the, the, the trolls win and just do this, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's inspirational, really, because I always think people hate me and, like, judge me and stuff, but if someone of that stature and someone with very good morals, I can see he's got good morals just by looking at him, loves me, then I'm doing something right. Do you know what I mean? So, I was like flabbergasted, guys. It really was. I couldn't believe it. My hair looks awful. But I am absolutely loving this hair, guys. Like, this kind of like... You know what Alex says? Like, I am turning into Alex, I think, at the minute. <laughs> I don't know, identity crisis. Um, This kind of like biker hair. Like, it's not done up. It's like messy got a kink in it i think it looks fucking sick it's really model off duty and this is how i'm gonna keep it like, i was gonna get some extensions put back in like they're literally over there i need to get them sewn in like 24 inch but i don't want to do that look anymore like this is cool i love it it's like almost like grunge i just fucking think it looks sick yeah but anyway right these are nails i've shown you my nails i'm nine sorry guys i just needed to have a moan these are the glasses. You're going to die. I can't believe she surprised me with these. These are... Is it Quay or Key, Australia? Qu Quay. They're fucking beautiful. Are you ready? I'm sorry, guys, but this... It's a fucking vibe, isn't it? 
how amazing are these? I absolutely love them. And look at the, I love the thing that it comes in. This is like a fuchsia sunglasses, like, um, oh my God, it's got the tag and everything. Is it Key Australia? All I know is they're fucking amazing. And I've had, I had, did have a, some Key Australia sunglasses, but they broke. So she surprised me with these today for my early birthday present. And I absolutely love them. So thank you, sis. I love you. She means the world to me. And look how they close. How neat is this? Look. You don't even need to do anything to it. It's like magnetic. But I see that's so cool. Yeah, um, so that was it. That's what I wanted to show you. And this is my obviously my nails. Absolutely love this iridescent sheeny pink colour. Anyway, yeah, guys, so yeah, thank you for listening to me moan, but I need, I need to moan. And sometimes I don't make myself very clear, do when I say? I feel like shit, I never go into it. I've gone into it today. Okay. I just kind of, I was having, I've just been on TikTok live and I have just been like thinking to myself, you know, like, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't think I realise my worth as a person. This is not a very good angle, is it? Do I need to get... Yeah, I need to get, like, something to... I need something there. Let me get my tripod. But... Yeah. So I was just, like, on TikTok. My hair is awful. I need to brush it. I don't really get out of my life. I think you kind of get like that when you are going through a bad way. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, and I have to realise that, do you know what? Like, I told you earlier on that, you know, Mark Ferris, obviously knows who I am, was watching me on uh, YouTube on his on was watching me yeah was watching me um watching my youtube videos and like i don't i don't know i feel like like i don't appreciate my own worth like i kind of dumb myself down all the time and think that i'm this like bad person this like negative this like i'm like nothing i don't do myself any favors like I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, really. I'm not, I'm so, because I'm so normal and myself, I'm unaware of the reach that I have to people. Like, people admire me and watch me and think a lot of me. And I need to take that, not a responsibility, but I need to think about that and think, do you know what? Like, when I'm feeling down and bad about myself, I need to think, I'm actually, like, reaching people and yeah, I know it's not about whether they've got a lot of subscribers or not, but like I'm reaching people that I never thought I would. You know, Mark Ferris and a few people on TikTok. Like TikTok, I've got thousands of view, uh, like viewers, um, followers. And I need to think, wow, like you know, I'm not just going on TikTok and being myself and just talking to one person. I have a quite a huge following, and I know it sounds. It's, I, I hate saying this without not sounding big headed. But I need to value my worth that, you know, established people look up to me. And people look up to me even if they're not established. Like, right, you know, you, you're normal people that aren't media creators or anything like that. You know, it's, I need to just think, I will, I need to believe in myself. That's what I need to do. I need to believe in myself. I need to, you know fake it till you make it believe in yourself you know like lady gaga she believed she could she had an air of like you know she she thought she was someone before she was someone and i don't think like that i don't think i'm anything so how am i supposed to you know i need to i don't try to say i need to project what i want my life to be i need to project the positiveness i need to 
be a star before I'm a star. Do you get what I mean? And I'm just constantly going on camera being all negative and I look like fat, I look like shit, I look like, and it's not, sorry, I'm, do you know what? Every time, this, this vacuum is in every shot of my videos and I'm getting really annoyed with it. I need to value myself. I need to know my worth, know that I am, you know, I'm not a huge YouTuber, but I'm not nothing. Nearly 20,000 on, on YouTube is an amazing achievement. I need to believe in myself. I need to think of myself as a celebrity, even though I'm not, because that's when people will believe in you. Well, no, people already do, but, you know, you've got to be the big shot, not be big-headed and, oh, my God, everyone loves me and, wow, I'm this. But you've got to... I don't know how to say it. Project what you want your life to be. You know, like these mood boards that people do, projecting your life. I need to do that because that's when I will know that, I don't know, I need to have the confidence to be myself fully. I know I'm myself, you know I'm myself, but the confidence to just believe in myself and not go on the camera and dumb myself down and say all these nasty things about myself. I need to just be like, you know what, I'm me and... I respect myself, I value myself, so I'm going to carry myself that way. I don't carry myself that way. I carry myself in a very pessimistic, negative manner. And I need to stop doing that because I am going places. I know I am. I'm positive. I need to have positive affirmations. That's what this, this clip is about, guys. I know I've got round to like, I know I'm always doing things the long way around. Positive affirmations that I will do this. I will be someone. I already am someone. I am someone. I am an amazing YouTuber. I'm a fantastic successful youtuber i am i have people watching me mark ferris people that i look up to watching me what does that say that my content is pure it's good it's real it's raw i'm reaching people i didn't know i'm reaching and i need to take that on board that you know what these people are respected they're well known they have a huge following if they are liking my content, then I'm doing something right because I look up to these people, you know, their their success. So it's a, it's in a massive, it's, it's inspiring for myself, really, because I know that I, um, you know, I'm touching people's lives, basically. That, that's what means. It's not about they've they've got million subscribers. It's not about that or whatever. It's about the fact that I'm touching people. And yeah, it, does, it helps. If It's flattery if these people with massive subscriber counts like you. Because you don't ever think that they would even watch you because you feel so insignificant, which is what I feel like. So it's not about the fact that they've got thousands of subscribers. It's about the fact that they understand me. They watch me. They take out time out of their successful busy days to come and go on my channel and watch me. That is fucking amazing. So, yeah. Basically, the moral of the story is... I've got to believe in myself. Oh my god, that is absolutely gorgeous. So guys, these are my new prescription sunglasses. You can't really see very well, but they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they?
absolutely love them. They're very geek chic. How's that? So these are my prescription sunglasses. I don't know if you heard me in the car, but absolutely so cute. So I'll be wearing these all the time. Um, they're so geeky, they're like Korean style ones. Absolutely adore them, guys. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> The man's uncle. 